Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Ashley, I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos. Our oldest is in eighth grade um, and we trickle down all the way to a year old. Um, I just did a Good and Beautiful haul, um, an unboxing that I will link up here and I wanted to go over some of the things that I have in, um, in my box. Um, I really wanted to show you guys the um, science unit for our unit, I say unit, the science um, curriculum, if you will, for the younger grades. So that is, um, I believe they, they market it for second grade and younger, um, even though you can do kindergarten through eighth grade for the other science units. I think this one just gears a little bit more towards um, the younger kids. So I just wanted to kind of do a flip through on this i am very excited to use this i'm going to try and use it in conjunction with the units um for um like the units that i'm doing um for my older kids but i still i'm not sure if it's going to work out that way so i might just end up um doing it just separately and maybe alternating the days that might just work better so I wanted to show you first what it comes with. It comes with a parent guide and it comes with the big book of science stories. So real quick, the parent guide itself is this little spiral bound notebook. Well, it's not a notebook, but it's a book. Um, it has your table of contents. So it, it tells you, it can kind of give you an idea if you are trying to plan this and um, you know, with the other science units, what it might take to kind of combine the two. Um, it talks about the um, correlated books, so ones that you might want to use with this um, with this course. It um, goes, let's see, trees. It has flowers, mushrooms, seeds, plants, butterflies, honeybees, so bugs. Um, frogs, fish, water plants, so a ton of different things that you can do with this. Um, I might do a kind of a lesson, a video, a lesson maybe, and show you guys what I plan to do and what I, any crafts or anything like that, that I plan to incorporate into these particular lessons. Um, okay, talks about the course, the lesson overview, um, there are some um, videos that you can log on and um, and look at. It has here, which I don't think I have, I don't think I have any of these. I need to double check. But these books here, um, they say that you can use that correlate well with this course. Um, your activities, so by lesson, it tells you what you will need. So you can either do that all at one time or you can do it like a week at a time or lesson at a time, whatever you want to do. Um, I try to not get it all at once because I, then I'll get ahead of myself and then I just get overwhelmed and then I have all this stuff for like the entire year. <laughs> I don't want all that. Um, so for example, lesson one. So they have a poem here. They have the supplies that are needed here. Tells you when to read to the child. Um, the movie, so what uh, movie kind of goes with that a discussion, so question and answer. They have an optional activity that you can do with that. And then let me go to, like for example, one of the, uh, let's see, butter, uh, let's see, these. Okay, yeah, so they're very simple lessons. So they pretty much are the same kind of lessons. Um, the poem, reading it to the child, a quick movie or video, a discussion and then an optional activity so you can actually go on to their website that um, and specifically this course listed under their website for optional activities for this lesson so you could either do that or you could do um, you know your own whatever you want to do and let me see I think is it all in that? okay so yeah each lesson is going to look exactly the same as far as that goes this is the big book of science stories, fields and flowers. So here are all of your stories. 
all these in regards to seeds, trees, um, insects, there's frogs, there's water plants, all of that. So they have all of these stories here. So pretty, their pictures are adorable. They have facts mixed into here. Um, so each time you can look and read this and they are just little short stories. And these little green boxes here are your little tidbits and your facts that you can look. So that is the entire thing. Very simple, very easy lessons to do with them. I'm thinking I can try and coordinate it, like I said, but even if I don't, this will not take long. Um, a couple, a week maybe, or let's see, three, um, yeah, maybe one to two a week, depending. Um, and it will not take you very long. So I think um, it would, I think it might be hard and it might be more time consuming to maybe combine the two. But if you know that one week you are doing butterflies, um, then coordinate it that way and say, okay, whatever crafts we do for butterflies, we are going to do, you know, with all of the kids and they're going to do it together. But when I do the lesson itself, I'm going to grab my little ones and do this as opposed to the actual unit study that they are doing um, in that's related to the exact you know to the same topic so you know you can do it how you want I will let you know how I how I um, do all of this and put it all together and how it's gonna work um, I'm excited to kind of do some extra things and to look at you know crafts and just activities and things like that so let me know if you have used if you have started to use this, if you, you know, homeschool year round, or um, like I said, this is brand new. So this is not something that, um, I can't remember the exact date that it was released, but it hasn't been around long. So um, anybody that started this has not been using it for long, but if you have, let me know if you like it and if you like the activities that are on their website, or if you do this yourself and do all the extras yourself. Um, all right, guys, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys next time. Take care.